D5 Render 2.4 available now. Ultimate real-time rendering with a leap in effects and performance. The latest version comes with 35 updates, including the brand new D5 GI, subsurface scattering material, optimized emissive effect, path tool, and multiple frame rate options. In this release, the D5 asset library is also updated with 582 new assets that include hedges, subsurface scattering models and materials, dynamic landscapes, holiday assets, and backdrop planes. This video will walk you through some amazing updates you need to know about D5 2.4. We're proud to introduce the brand new D5 GI, the updated global illumination solution developed by D5 team, which is a milestone in this release. Applying advanced algorithms, including Restir and Surfle, the new D5 GI ensures your smooth and stable real-time rendering experience while providing a boost in the accuracy of lighting. One of the biggest noticeable changes is increased bounces of skylight, which leads to sufficient lighting even deep inside an interior space. You're able to light it up nicely without adding artificial lights. Indirect lighting cache of high precision is supported to bring more realistic lighting transitions into the scene. The new D5 GI retains more high-frequency details of the shadows and tackles the problem of rendering a flat-looking scene caused by denoising. The transmission effect of foliage is significantly improved so that the leaves of vegetation assets will have a clearer look. With the breakthroughs in real-time rendering effect and performance made by optimized D5 GI, the inconsistency between viewport preview and the final output is almost eliminated in this version. We are relentless in the pursuit for an ultimate emissive effect, and with 2.4, the emissive material is further optimized for a variety of rendering scenarios. Multiple bounces emitted from emissive materials supported, D5 guarantees you accurate global illumination even with only emissive light sources. With the new algorithm, emissive lighting in D5 avoids completely dark corners in the scene light -like cornice while presenting a softer lighting effect. Curved light strips with emissive material applied can now illuminate the scene properly and more accurately. The color emitted from emissive maps was previously in D5 a result of the average color of the maps. We've corrected it with the new algorithm to calculate the color of the maps with more precision, so the emissive materials give off lights accordingly. This comes in handy when applying emissive material to LED light signs or billboards. Subsurface scattering materials are now supported to simulate semi-translucent objects such as jade, wax, and human skin. It's utilized to enhance the object's look with more natural details. Subsurface scattering is a top-level rendering mechanism for the effect of light transport, where light traveling through the surface of a translucent object is scattered by interacting with the material and exits the surface at a different angle. Calculating light interaction beneath and out of the materials is a huge amount of work, especially for real-time rendering, but supporting subsurface scattering proves necessary for the photorealism of rendering. Now, after trial and error, D5 team made it happen, and we'll show you how subsurface scattering works with this marble material. Select the material, change template to subsurface scattering, and add a marble texture map to the base color map slot. Here subsurface color determines the color of scattering light inside the objects. Brighter colors lead to more translucence of the material. Scattering intensity is the multiplier of the subsurface color parameter. Once the subsurface color is set, you can further increase or decrease the translucent effect of the material by pulling this slider. A collection of subsurface scattering assets are available now in the D5 asset library, such as Jade Buddha, Candle, Fruit Models, and also Jade, Wax Materials. To make D5 even easier to get started with, Action tips are added to the lower left corner of the viewport. You can turn it on in menu, view to see corresponding tips and shortcuts while rendering. Path tool is also optimized to make scene building more convenient with customizable path corner nodes, 
curve or linear. You can set it to linear to draw right angles and adjust smoothness parameter to customize the corner angles, which helps a lot when it comes to rendering an avenue or crossroads. For vegetation paths, we supported setting fixed spacing distance between the vegetation assets. You can use it to generate a corresponding number of models according to the spacing distance value. Random offset is no longer related to the length of path, so there won't be the problem of a larger actual offset distance for a relatively small offset value caused by a longer path. In addition to the static D5A models, D5 vegetation, characters, animals, vehicles, and more models can now be added to your local library and exported as D5A models. It is also supported to group any of these assets and add them to local so you can easily grab and use the combo in other projects. The algorithm of Vegetation Scatter tool has been optimized to fill a chosen material with vegetation and avoid leaving a gap, making a lush and dense hedge look. Scatter models with single series in their names from Nature, Hedge Category, set the density parameter, and check Align to Terrain to quickly fill the block and create realistic hedges. Using Eraser or Clear Tool, you can apply it to only a selected surface by holding Shortcut Key Shift. Blend Amount setting is newly added to Grass Material to control the blending level of the base color maps for the ground model and grass material. Lower the value, and the base color map of grass will have more influence on the overall color. Cold distance is added in preference, rendering. When you specify a cold distance value for preview and output respectively, the smaller models mainly grass and other plants. Beyond that distance will not be rendered in preview or final work as you chose. This will boost rendering efficiency. For models in the object list, you can now right-click on it to choose Drop Vertically so that it lands vertically on the nearest object surface. Check Drop Along the Terrain so when the model falls on the nearest model, it also rotates itself according to the normal of the model surface. Z depth mode is now available in effect, style. It works on a grayscale value range, and the colors of points range from black to white based on their distance from the camera, with black being closest to the camera, white in the background, and gray in between. Z depth is supported as a rendering effect for images or videos, and also as channel export. It's often used to add depth of field effect or to simulate fog. A focal length parameter is added under Field of View, which can be used as the equivalent focal length of film in real-life photography. When matching a real camera and rendering camera setting, you can align the picture information by entering the corresponding focal length value in D5. This helps you get the same view in D5 as the reference photo. We fix the unexpected tilting and perspective distortion by correcting the two-point perspective algorithm and now the animation transitions between two-point perspective and perspective view in video mode will not produce flickering.
Another change is that you would need to press F8 or P to exit the two-point perspective view now. More frame rate options are supported to bring better visual experience and more freedom in editing. You can choose from 24, 25, 30, 60, or 120 FPS for output in video rendering settings. another optimization in the search function. We replaced the highlighted search results with a filter to show you only the objects containing the keywords, which should save you quite some time doing the searching in the resource list. Clearing autosaved backups or imported models is supported in Menu, File, Clear Data, to delete the backup files automatically saved and imported models, except for those already placed in the current project. This helps reduce project file size making file storage and management easier. Another update to help you with resource management is the option in rendering Q to close D5 automatically when rendering is finished. D5 Asset Library Update 582 new assets are released in D5 built-in library, including Asian characters, dynamic vegetation, Backdrop planes, holiday assets, water particles, dynamic accessories, threes materials and models, and more. 108 new Asian characters originally scanned and made by D5 team. New category of slightly moving characters to achieve lifelike quality while ensuring high performance rendering. new backdrop planes in landscape category to decorate the distant skyline for urban, mountainous, and wooded contexts. New animated water particles under particles, fluid including fountains and water flow particles with scale, reflection, and color parameters enable. New low resource consumption option for fountain particles. Turn it on to reduce resource consumption in preview and output will not be affected. 128 new dynamic macrophanerophyte vegetation to breathe life into your scenes. New color temperature control for interior parallax models to suit different vibes of the scenes. New Holiday Assets, a special collection exclusive to D5 that includes firework particles, animated decorations, and holiday accessories. Set off customizable 3D fireworks in D5 to light up the sky. Alright, that concludes the video for some major updates in D5 2.4. To learn more about what's new in this new version, please go to D5 form for the complete release note. If you are curious about anything that we didn't cover here, feel free to leave a comment down below and we'll come back with more tutorials for you. Open your D5 now to have a try the demo scenes, and there are more scenes free downloadable on D5 forum, scene express section. See you in the next one.